Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 65. So this is where we were talking about oil consumption between these three countries. So if we take a look here, it's saying what's the percent of the oil consumption between the U.S., Japan, and China? So I'm just going to call X, Y, and Z, respectively, the, the percent of oil consumption for the U.S., Japan, and China. And if we take a look at this, we've got three, equa oh, excuse me, not three equations, we have three variables. And that means I need to find three equations to solve, to be able to solve that system. So I need three equations. And I, I think with all of these word problems, the tricky part is how did I get from the words over to these equations? If we could see the map there, then it's not too bad to solve for those variables afterwards. But how do we go from all of this to this? So let's let's talk about how I made that transition. So let me get my highlighter up and let's look at the first number that pops up. I see this 39.8% and it says the top three countries consume 39.8% of the oil. And if this is the percent for US, percent for Japan, percent for China, then I know that those three need to total out to 39.8. So that's where my first equation is coming from. And then let me change highlighters just so we can track this. It now says the United States consumed 7% or excuse me, 0.7% more than four times China's consumption. Okay, well, if we talk about the US consumption, we called that X. If we talk about China's consumption, we called that Z. When I see the word more over here, I'm gonna think of addition. When I think of four times, I'm gonna think of multiplication. So as we, we take a look at this, we have the US consumption was 0.7% more than four times China's consumption. So that's where my second equation is coming from. And then for the third equation, it's here. It says the United States consumed 5% more than triple Japan's consumption, which is very similar to the type of sentence we just had. So again, the US, that's our X, right? This time though, we're talking about Japan, that's our Y. All right, so if I look at 5% more, I'm gonna add 0.05 to something, all right? Or I should say I'm gonna add five to something because it's 5%. Um, and then I'm gonna triple Japan. So here we go. I'm gonna say the US was 5% more than three times Japan's consumption. And that's where this third equation is coming from. So now I have my three equations and I just get to go forward with a little substitution. So, so that's what you see me doing here is that I'm substituting X into all of these equations and I'm solving for my variable. And like I said, I think after I get here, things below this are okay. It's just more of a case of how on earth did I get to this point? So after I do lots of substitution, oops, there we go. Lots of substitution. And, and I'll just tell you, like the first substitution I do is I, I, I put X into that equation. All right. And then I also try it again by putting another equation with 3y plus 5. That's where this first equation is coming from. That's where that second equation is coming from. And I reduce it to a 2 by 2. But as I work through all of this, I ultimately get my answers. I see that y is 7.1%, z is 6.4, and here's the us at 26.3. And just you can take a look that we, um, we consume quite a lot of the world's oil. All right, so that is number 65. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.